This is the view every manager wants before the weekly commit call. Compare best case, commit, closed, and pipeline by owner, spot the strongest accounts, and check pipeline coverage fast. Get the full templates at other-levels.com. Let's continue. We will first check the background formatting. For this rounded rectangle, we have a gradient fill of dark blue color. The first dark blue color is at 34% position, and the second dark blue color is at 51% position with increased transparency of 38%. For the outline, we have white color with 88% transparency and the width of 0.75. Now, let's insert a chart. For that, we will first go to Pivot Table. Select the table for which we want the chart. Go to Insert Ribbon and select Two-Dimensional Line with Markers Chart. We will move this chart to Dashboard. Let's format it. First of all, we will remove the whole chart's background, color, and outline. Now we will remove the unwanted details. Let's format this. We will first select the grid lines. We have a solid filled with white color. The transparency is 96% and the width is 0.75. Now the line chart, we will select the solid line, the color of bluish gray, and the width of 2. For marker, we do not require it, so we will select none. We do not want to display the second line chart, so we will just select no line and no marker. Now, we will format this x-axis, font to Arial, size to 9, font color to white. We will add data labels above this line chart. Let's format it. We will have Arial font, size 9, color white, bold. And the number formatting to million. Now, our chart is ready. We will just resize it to fit in our background. Add other details to our chart. For that, we will first copy a text box and link it with pivot table. Select ECV commit. Now format it. We will have the font as Arial, the size as 11, bold, and font color white. The alignment to middle and left. Now we will copy this text box. Change the link from AK5 to the value part and format it Arial. Eighteen, bold, and font color to aqua. Similarly, we will create this chart for ECV commit. In this way, we will have our second chart ready. Now let's move to the next part. Before beginning this session, first of all, we will check the background formatting. For this, we have removed the fill color, and for the outline, we have set it to white color with 88% transparency and the width is set to 0.75. Now let's begin. First of all, we will insert a picture from Insert Ribbon. Crop this picture to round shape. We will insert all the other pictures. Now we will select all the pictures, align them to the middle, and distribute them horizontally. We will begin with inserting the name from the pivot table. Format it Arial, size to 12, bold, the font color to aqua, the alignment to middle and left. Now we will drag this down for other names. We'll insert other data. For that, we will go to pivot table. Now we will drag the other data down by just dragging it. For the heading, we will merge this. Select the two cells and select Merge in center. 
format it to Arial 10, color to white and alignment to middle and center. Now for the subheading, we will select the font as Arial, the size to 9, the color to light gray, and middle and center. For the numbers, we will keep font to Arial, the size to 12, the font color to white, alignment to middle and center, and change its font formatting to million. We have this formatting and press OK. So our numbers are converted to million. In a similar way, we will copy other data. Now we have copied the other data. With these some changes in font color formatting, for total, we have kept it as blue. For judge, we have kept it as aqua. For forecast exit, we have kept it as orange. Now we will insert a rectangle. Remove its fill. And for the line, we will change it to gradient fill. The first color is set as black at 7 position. The second is 40% position white color at 80% transparency. The third is at 60% position white color at 80% transparency. And the fourth is black color at 94% position. In this way we have set a border between total, judge, and forecast exit. Let's move to the next part. Before beginning, we will first check the background for this. We have inserted a rectangle with gradient fill. Let's check it. The first is light gray color at 10% position, and 100% transparency, and minus 50% brightness. The second is dark gray color at 39% position and 100% transparency. The third is dark gray color at 81% position. Now, let's begin inserting a chart. For that, we will go to pivot table. Select the pivot table and insert a two-dimensional column chart. We will move this to dashboard. Let's format it. First of all, we will remove the whole chart's background and outline. First select the grid lines. In that, do the solid line color of white. Increase the transparency to 82%. Decrease the width to 0.5. Let's format the columns. For the first column, select white color. For the second, select blue color. For third, green color. For fourth, gray color. Now, we will change the series overlap to 60% and gap width to 100%. Now, we will format x-axis that is month. We will change the font to Arial, size to 9, bold, and change the font color to white. Format the y-axis. We will do the same formatting. Arial, size 9, font color white. We will remove the decimals by changing the customized number formatting. So, we are done with chart. Resize it and add the required details to our chart. Copy a text box. When we go to the pivot table, you will see that there are three options. If the commit versus pipeline ratio is greater than 90%, then it is green. If it is between 70% and 90%, then it is amber. If it is less than 70%, then it is red. Here, we will be inputting a single text box to see how it is formatted. You can check previous parts. Now, we will copy this text box for depicting the ratio. Change the pivot table link. Now, we will format it to Arial, size to 11.
bold and change the font color to white. Now, we will copy this text box and add a title to our chart. In the next video, we'll bring everything together in one complete dashboard build. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't miss part 3. Get the full templates and resources at other-levels.com. Please check the other videos in these playlists, and see you in the next video.